Hello and welcome everybody to Not A Review. This is just a little mini review. Harley Davidson putter here, right? So I have some putters that are not gonna get a full review, but I like to talk about because they're fun. I think they're interesting. So this is a Harley Davidson putter. Kind of has the zebra putter shape and design. It looks like it has a separate sole plate here. More importantly, it says Harley Davidson on the sole and on the crown right here, the alignment light. Now, I'm not a Harley Davidson owner. My grandfather was a big motorcycle guy, like made in the USA stuff. So Harley's cool, all right? So Harley Davidson on the shaft. Yeah, that's right, a Harley Davidson branded shaft and a Harley Davidson branded awesome grip right here. It looks like it could be leather. Like, can you see the stitching back here? This looks like a full on lovely putter. I'm gonna actually take this over to my practice screen and we're gonna put around a little bit. As a child, I remember after you plug your ears, you know, when they start these things up and just like that thunder, just and you're just like, whoa, what is it? The, the, the V-twin or whatever that famous engine is. This was back in the 80s, all right? And I was just like, this is the coolest, was it the 80s or 90s? No, no clue. No, if anybody knows, let me know in the comments below, but I thought Harley Davidson's were the coolest thing ever. And then of course, when I was like in college, it must have been college. I don't think it was high school, but Harley Davidsons were famous to, where people were flipping them. So they would order a Harley Davidson and the second they would get them, they could flip them and make like $5,000 just, you know, or more, just like reselling them. That was kind of my introduction to this idea of reselling. Now everything, everything is being resold, like sneakers, you know, boxes of sports cards. Are golf clubs? I don't think golf clubs are in that list of things, but yeah. Either way, Harley. Not something I've ever personally owned. You know, when you get older, have kids, and don't have enough money to afford a Harley, you just kind of move on and keep focusing on golf, right? Is that what, that's what I did anyway. Anyway, it's a lovely little putter. So let me know what kind of novelty putters you love. It could be anything, like, I mean, any brand. I have a Coke putter, I have a Budweiser putter. There's just lots of stuff. So let me know your thoughts and comments in the comments below. And let's dive into fantasy golf. So Scotty Scheffler won the Phoenix Open. We were all glued to that until the Super Bowl started. And then it's like, we're gonna just watch the Chiefs. I didn't really, uh, you know, I'm not from Kansas City or Philadelphia. I didn't really, I like the Jalen Hurt story. I love, you know, Patrick Mahomes. So it was just like, who did I want to win? I didn't have an answer for you. So either way, congratulations, Chiefs. That was fun. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about fantasy golf. All right, so I'm going to list, here are the weekly winners. And then I'm also going to post the season leaders for the Vintage Golf League. If you want to join, there's a link in the description below. You have to have an account on the PGA.com website. And then just create an account and you can pick players and then you can be on this list if you do well. So yeah, it's a lot of fun. Anyway, that concludes today's Not A Review Talking Tuesday. Thank you everybody for watching. Huge shout out to my patrons. Thank you everybody for your support. If you'd like to join us on Patreon, it's just some behind the scenes pictures and updates, general support. You can also support this channel by visiting my Amazon shop. I am an Amazon associate. I make proceeds from qualifying purchases. Thank you everybody for watching. I am the Vintage Golfer.